Meanwhile, the governor says today he'd consider changing insurance requirements for pre-existing conditions in Wisconsin. This after the House passed a plan that is raising concerns among some in the health care community. Our political reporter Jessica Arp is here now to explain. Jess. Well, the House plan would allow states to opt out of the requirement that insurance plans not charge higher premiums for pre-existing conditions and find another way to cover them. Those who have worked within that system before in Wisconsin say it's not time to go back. And for people with pre-existing condition, uh, it, it's something that you don't want to go back to the bad old days. Bobby Peterson at ABC for Health helped people for years get into the state's Health Insurance Risk Sharing Plan, or HERSP, which was offered in Wisconsin until 2014. If it's your only option, you know, as it was, you know, in the 80s, 90s, and, and that 2000s when I was you know, representing people that needed help and getting into it, you know, it, it was relatively popular because you had nothing else. The plan could cost hundreds a month, came with a lifetime cap, and made those with pre-existing conditions wait six months after signing up before they could get coverage. It was phased out after the Affordable Care Act offered coverage to anyone without increases or denials for pre-existing conditions. But Governor Scott Walker says now, if a final health care bill included an option to get a waiver, he'd consider it. Well, again, we've been very good at that before with Herbs. We had a very effective program before. I think a lot of people were disappointed that Wisconsin was not allowed to have that under the Affordable Care Act, under Obamacare, and so that's something we certainly would consider. It depends on the conditions. Peterson says he thinks people simply won't accept a change back to requiring those with pre-existing conditions to seek separate coverage. There is a, a, a expectation for people now that we got rid of pre-existing conditions. And to go back there, I think that's a very bitter pill, and I think it's going to take a lot of political persuasion to get people to accept that. The governor said today, though, that he did not know what the Senate will end up passing, and he would wait to see what ends up in that final bill before saying what the state would pursue. And as we've said, long way to go before this That's really right. comes to fruition. All right, Jess, thank you. Thanks.